guys welcome back to the channel I want to take a fast look at this the Pelican 7060 LED flashlight a friend of mine sent me this McCline 5179 and uh, I I didn't know that uh, he was gonna be sending this I actually thought he was gonna send a beer for the brew channel but uh, uh, I've been uh, using this for a little over a week now and just thought I would uh, quickly show it to you. Uh, you may want to consider it as an option. It ships like this. Get your typical owner's manual. Uh, more more stuff from Pelican. I honestly say I didn't even know. Uh, uh, I didn't even know that Pelican was making flashlights. And they're making them out of the same material as they use for their gun cases. And if you've used any of their gun cases, you know they're some of the best that you could possibly get for the protection of your firearms. Now this is a uh, rechargeable. It uh, does uh, ship with the uh, batteries. Uh, in it, so you don't have to worry about picking those up. Of course, you get the uh, the owner's manual. It's a uh, it's not a small flashlight, so it's not like uh, you, it's something that you're going to be shoving in the front uh, pocket of your pants. I mean, one of the largest uh, flashlights that uh, that I have that I use is uh, the TN15 here, and you can see size wise, it's pretty much the same just a, a, a tad bit shorter now it has uh, four different cycles you can run through you have high which is uh, 368 lumens and uh, whoops, medium it's 150 lumens and uh, low which is 18 lumens now on high it'll run for three hours on medium it'll run for nine hours and 45 minutes and on 18 lumens it would run for uh, 45 hours it is uh, IPX4 rated and I have to I have to honestly say that you know the you you go and I, I I did some uh I went to look up some some reviews on this and it seemed like a majority of people that were leaving comments on other people's videos on this were basically complaining that you know it's only got uh you know it doesn't even have uh, 400 lumens and but what I I think a lot of people are missing is that this particular light uh, was built in cooperation with uh, the LEPD and it is designed its primary function is a duty light now I know it's cool to uh, do a video and say look at uh, my flashlight it has uh, you know a thousand lumens uh, 12,000 lumens but when it comes to the real world which is why I've been you know using this around the house and and such is to to put it more in perspective 368 lumens is way more than you uh, would not only need but want inside of a house so if you're looking for just a badass super bright flashlight uh, this one isn't going to be for you if you're looking for a duty light uh, like say my say my friend Rashid uh, something like this is what you would want you know, in your car uh, on your on your duty rig it's uh it does offer the tail button which is you can just momentary or click it of course as you do that you also go through the uh, the settings so 
if you're just uh, about to turn it on and click it, it'll it'll stay on. And you also have the thumb one, which would be the same thing. You can press and hold, and it stays on. Or you can press and click it, and it locks on. Now, right now, it, it offers four different modes, and right now, it's actually in mode number three, which is high, me, medium, and low. You can uh, set it for, you know, maybe you're the, maybe, maybe in a, in a duty uh, situation, you only want it to stay on high. You have no use for the strobe setting or a medium and low. And what you do uh, to get it into mode number two, which is high only, you press the button ten times and hold on the tenth time. And then it does a flash, to con two flashes to confirm. And now you'll see that no matter how many times or how you know how I press that button, it always stays to to high. The 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 original default uh, was uh, mode number one, and that's uh, eight times in hold. Then it confirms, and that is high, strobe, medium and low. So what you have control over is four different modes. Default, high, strobe, medium, and low. Mode 2 is high, which is just nothing but the, the high. Mode 3 will toggle between high, medium, and low, removing strobe. And mode 4 will toggle low, medium, high, removing the strobe setting. I, I personally, uh, I personally, in what, I, what I've been using it in, was uh, mode number 3. And that's high, medium, and low, uh, removing the strobe feature. Now, in a, in a defensive situation in a house, I've had several people tell me that nothing is more disorientating when aimed at somebody than the strobe mode. So I've had, uh, I've had reservations about uh, uh, removing uh, that, but again, it's uh, easy to, to get back and forth between those modes. Uh, like, like in order to get to three, it's actually uh, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and hold. It confirms with three flashes telling you that you're in mode number three, and now it's high, me, medium, and low with no strobe. So. It's just, you know, it's just a, a very, a very well built light. And like I said, this is the one thing I wanted to put forth out there. If you're just looking for some, you know, big tactical, spiky, brezel, eye gouging, 12 zillion candle power uh, light, uh, that, uh, that, that isn't going to be this guy. But if you are looking for a duty flashlight, or a very indestructible light that you can have in the glove compartment of your vehicle, uh, in, in your home. Again, the charger uh, for this. Put it like that. It, ha it has an uh, alignment, a uh, little uh, wing right there in the, uh, in the center. That positions it like that when you get where you want it to be. The uh, the lighting on it uh, tells you when you're uh, charging, charged, again if you want to mount this uh, on a wall or lay it on a desk
cord won't get in your way if you get it to stay where it's supposed to like that the uh, directions do give you the uh, template if you want to mount this uh, on a wall on the side of a cabinet or something something like that they uh, offer uh, if you if you look in in here you can find a parts replacement and you can get the uh, the car uh, wiring kit uh, for this if you uh, if you have a uh, service vehicle and you just want to be able to keep uh, this in there at, at all times you know little things like they recommend that you you have it on the uh, on the circuit in your vehicle so that uh, it stops uh, stops sending a charge to this when it's uh when the vehicle is turned off because it uh may uh may run the the vehicle battery down you can get uh the the wands for it again if you are uh, an leo you can get uh, the the yellow a yellow wand or the orange wand that would clip over the end of it for uh uh directing uh, traffic so all that all that is uh is in here And so far, just for a an everyday use light, I have been uh, very, very impressed with it. So, I'll put a I'll put a link down below to uh, Pelican, so you can go uh, check this out directly if uh, if you'd like to. Otherwise, uh, a big thank you to McCline fifty one fifty one seventy nine for uh, sending me this light. Thanks, guys.